Hi Cedric, I'm Stuart. This is the 103 inch touchscreen on top of your pla uh, Panasonic. As you can see, it's barely noticeable. You've got the corporate bezel, the black matte finish. We can also uh, change the colour if you want to have a different colour for another touchscreen. On top, we've got uh, probably a 1-3mm spacing. So the touchscreen actually comes flush right to the edge when annotating. Sits on nicely. So that's if you want to annotate. You get my eboard, which is also free, uh, free content with the touchscreen. My eboard is a uh, simple annotation pr uh, package, which you can just have different pens. So if you want to annotate, you can, the option's always there. But I believe because you're doing broadcasting, you're using a lot of push button content, uh, which IR is perfect for very popular kiosks. So what I'll do, Cedric, is I will leave this, and I'll show you a bit of content that we've actually got. So this is a push button application for a company called NetPractice. So if you were using this for broadcasting, simple kind of makeup, it's really simple. You can move the screen. Okay, Cedric, this is the 103-inch uh, touchscreen out of the box. We've got it uh, leaning up against the post. And as you can see on the back, we've got the option for straps. The strap at the top and a strap at the bottom. And uh, we'll show you later on how these are strapped together. You've got the USB uh, power and the USB coming out from the bottom, the bottom left hand corner. And there's three places for plates. One bottom left hand corner you'll see. We've already attached the plate. And there's uh, one plate at the top. There's space to move around. And we've only attached three three screws, but there's a lot a lot more space for screws. And then there's another another one at the bottom, so that's three, almost like a triangular point. We're gonna have foam on the bottom. So when you put it on top of your 103-inch uh, display, there's not going to be any scratching, there's no sliding as well. So this is how you will receive it. And then I'll show you how to put it on top of this 103-inch Panasonic touchscreen, which we've currently got mounted on a stand. It fits the space of bolt. And this space of bolt is what's used at the three points of the touch screen, at the right, the left and the top, to hold the clamps in place. Clears enough. Hi Cedric, going to put on the 103 inch touch screen. Two man job. We just lift it, make sure the straps are over the front. And we're going to slowly, because we don't want to scratch the 103 inch, we're going to slowly, just lightly, put it in. There you go, it slips right on. Yep, got the top in. I'm going to push the bottom. A little bit of push. There you go. And uh, we're just going to strap to the straps over the top, tie them in the back. And the clamps are in place. Okay, Cedric, uh, in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see there's a black hole. We've cut out, bespoke it around the uh, Panasonic display. That's the IR sensor, so that's never going to be covered up. So, from a long range, as you know, IR can be used from a long range, so there's nothing blocking that, so there won't be any problems. On the right hand side at the bottom, we've got the the USB comes out which we connect to an extender because we've got our CPU further away and we've got the power of the touchscreen so it's just two cables, simple attachments, 